What's up, y'all? Let's get this show on the road. A little later today, I needed to digest my food. Some meatball subs and some uh, mozzarella sticks for dinner. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Watching a little KVK action here. Right now we're seeing... Uh, I don't even know what kingdom this is, right? 1256. And 2139. Going at it here in the open field. Thunder, good to see you. Dracul, Insane Joker. It's fitting that Insane Joker is here. Since we are going crazy later. Spinning for Gonzalo. What's up, Blackout? One of your friends in P42 went online again like five days ago. Who's P42? What's up, Cheech? Chilzy, good to see ya. Been a while. New Jack. <clears throat> Let's turn off Simplify Graphics and at least be able to watch this in all its wonderful glory. One more day of work this week. Friday and Monday off. Nice long four day weekend on the horizon here. Cannot wait. I have no idea. It's been so long, I can't remember which kingdoms Ronnie was in. <clears throat> I know he was in 1016, because I fought against him in KVK2. I see. I see. It makes more sense now, Dracul. Thank you for clarifying, though. Can they take down this building flag? Gorgo holding strong thus far. So I did get word today that uh, the player we were talking about potentially zeroing yesterday, he is having some medical issues. So we will not be zeroing him. We're not going to kick him in when he's down. That's just not right. Ooh, the flag is built. Too little too late. Just free build the flag and then free burn that? Oh, come on. But this KVK looks like it's top against bottom. On this side of the map, we got oh, one EE8. Is 
2098 now. They used, they've been in several different kingdoms looking at their alliance description. Right, 1098, 2098. KVK win streak, 15 seasons and counting? Really? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's crazy if that's true. Several pass openings today in multiple kingdoms. This one looks like Kingsland recently opened. A little bit of pass fighting going on here. Nothing too crazy. Troops are here if they're not attacking the flag. I'd imagine there's a rally coming in shortly, but. Oh! Oh, forgive the yawning. I did not get a nap in today. Work ended later than normal and started cooking dinner right away. I swear, you take a couple days off of work, you pay for it because you do twice as much work the week leading up to it and twice as much work the week, week you come back. Ooh, I see a pew pew tower. This guy's getting hammered. I thought that was bubbled. Maybe just me. Maybe just poured it in. Poured it a little too close to that archer tower. And then he teleports over here and. <laughs> and then up here, <laughs> dude, it gives you the Archer Tower range. Just look at the little circle. <laughs> How many teleports is he going to waste? Where'd you go now? Yeah, where'd you go? Back here. <laughs> Freaking hilarious. waiting for the rally. Come on, guys. How are you guys all doing today? Have a good day. You got plans for Easter weekend at all? I have one job this weekend, and that's to make the ham. My wife will be making corn au gratin. And uh, cheesy potatoes. And mac and cheese. Banana pudding. I 
want some damn chicken wings though. It's been ages since I had some good chicken wings. No plans. Just hanging out on the couch watching the uh, NCAA basketball tournament, huh? There's the rally. The rally's dying off quick though, my god. It just tapped the flag and already it's yellow. I'm going to the in-laws? At least you don't have to cook, right? Visiting family. Yeah, Easter is kind of like a family weekend. For Thanksgiving, we always go to my parents. You know, we do that. We, we, when the kids were younger, we'd always always go down to my parents for Thanksgiving. And uh, leave the kids there, you know, so the they could spend time with grandma and grandpa and we could get our Christmas shopping done. And then Christmas Eve is with my in-laws and Christmas Day is generally with my parents. Easter was always uh, just kind of family. Immediate family. You know, any friends, any neighbors, any relatives who want to come for an Easter dinner can are always welcome to stop by. This must be left side versus right side. What's up, Green? Just looking at several different KVKs, just kind of going where the fighting takes us. I'm doing well. How are you? What's up, Mr. Death Dealer? Good to see ya. I'm assuming... Yeah, I'm assuming that's the same Death Dealer I've been talking to on Discord today. KVK. Are you guys fighting? If so, shoot me some coordinates. We can watch you. And if you feel like sending reports, fantastic. If not, I completely understand. If there's fighting going on, the last thing people want to do is send reports out. I totally get that. That's the last thing I want to do when I'm in the middle of KVK fighting, right? But our main goal here today, we'll spectate some KVKs, right? But we're going to go nuts. We're just going to max spin for him. I want to have at least one one engineering march 
don't ask me why, because I, I won't be able to explain it, but one engineering march. That means then we'll have to start thinking about equipment for an engineering march. We'll have to <laughs> have a few more sieges than the 50,000 we have now. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I, I'm not counting the 93,000 T1 sieges, but... He knows noob he's a suspect uh, yeah i don't know that noob guy i don't know about him either do margaret in cordoba if you only have one march yeah but you you can't spin for margaret can you she's not on the wheel anywhere i actually have to invest gold heads and in, that's not something I'm willing to do for an engineering commander. Who's going to be his para? I have no idea yet. I don't know if I'll even use them, but it's all for fun. If you can't have fun playing a game, you know, might as well not play. want to pew pew across the river with an arrow you know the way I figure it right if if I'm garrisoning in one structure with like uh, Gorgo Hera and I'm garrisoning in another structure with say uh, uh, Jan Ziska uh, YSS and I'm rallying with uh, archers and I have an engineering uh, archer tower somewhere set up by a river Hell, that'd be an easy KVK. I only have three or four marches then to control in the open field instead of frickin' seven. <laughs> I mean, we could do that in our sleep. How's the armaments for the V formations? Yeah, not so great. <laughs> not so great. <laughs> uh, let's see. About like that. <laughs> so yeah, not so great. We got some inscriptions though, so we can just transmutate these, right? Yeah, I mean, we definitely got a ways to go before we have a, a quote-unquote top-tier engineering march, right? But hey, you know, you got to start somewhere. Thinking to share you? No, nah, I'm sorry, I do not. Uh, I do not pilot. I do not pilot. Thanks for the offer, but. It's uh, not something that interests me. I mean, I'm not saying we're going to go all in on engineering and finish all the engineering commanders and proc and level up two legendary sets or anything, but it'd just be nice to play with something different. I mean, how do you get ranged kills anyway? I still haven't figured that out yet. Right, how do you get ranged points anyway? I mean, you gotta shoot them with an archer tower and then move in with your regular armies, if I understand it correctly. Whenever you kill or severely wound an enemy's troop, 
While you're also attacking it with a ranged troop, you will earn ranged points. So, I mean, in order to get this number off of zero, you'd have to attack it with an archer tower and also attack it in the open field. You can't get range points? What? Not anymore? Why? Why does that even show then? Then you can laugh at us when they are meta and we're all trying to catch up. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't that be kind of fun? You know, an Ark of Osiris, drop a ranged marsh somewhere behind the behind the um, behind the middle structure for the, the temple in the middle right where the ark appears you know just just let it uh, let it fucking pew pew all the cow cows <laughs> picking up the ark from the enemy team or you know I mean you you got you got troops sometimes waiting to get inside structures, right? Because they're backup garrisons or whatever. Not garrison captains, but garrisons. So just put them in the V formation, set up an archer tower behind a structure, and you're ready to fill it when you need to fill it. But it's also doing some damage at the same time to those troops in the open field. I don't know. I'm in a difficult situation. I can't go to KVK because I don't have level 25 City Hall and I also can't migrate. Um, you're the fella I see in Apple's channel? Yeah, I'm always in Apple's chat. Apple, I enjoy hanging out with Apple. He is super high energy and uh, a very fun person. Good, good human being as well. Can you migrate back? I, I know you said you can't migrate, but you can. Can you migrate back to like a KVK two or something so you can build your account, find a jumper project? What's up, Saint Julian? Good to see you. But yeah, I'm, I'm always in Apple's chat. Did did Apple raid me or something? Did I miss it? Is he still streaming? But, uh, yeah, I mean, otherwise, it's just grind, grind, grind and work on that city hall, like Thunder said. You know, they are throwing KVKs at Kingdoms quicker than ever. When I first started the game, I think it was a good year before we had KVK. KVK wasn't even a thing when I first started the game. Can't migrate at all. Yeah, then it's just uh, either... Either start a brand new account with part of a jumper group and give up on your current account and grind on the new one, or you just grind on this one. Apple for me is too high energy. I get so stressed when looking at his stream. <laughs> You know, I'm, I, I got a relatively chill stream other than the very high energy music, but uh, Apple's a little bit more uh, high energy than I am. Then again, he's probably half my age, so. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, bud. If uh, I mean, if, if you can't migrate and you can't play KVK because you're not City Hall 25 yet, you're really your only option is to start grinding. 3K kingdoms, yep, yep. What's the what's the newest kingdom they have out there now? Let's just look. Do we want a few really old Saint Jolene? 3484. I started in Kingdom 1207. And I'm now in 1029. 3484. That server is exactly 11 hours, 48 minutes, and 25 seconds old.
That's just insane to me. Sixteen sixty seven, thirteen ninety seven. What kingdoms did everyone start out in? So twelve oh seven, that's one thousand nine hundred and one days ago. And died in twelve fifty four. Well, there are quite a few people that can say that they died in twelve fifty four. Or because of 1254. Take your pick. <clears throat> 1940 something. Nine, really? Nine migrations, buddy? That's crazy. See, I went from 1207 to 1039, so that's one migration. Then to 1052, and then to 1029. This is my third migration. I, mean, I have passports, don't get me wrong. What's, what's 446 divided by 75? Grab the old calculator here. I mean, I could migrate 5.946 times. Nineteen twenty one, nineteen sixteen, nineteen forty, twenty eighty one, twenty three oh five, twenty four forty four, ten twenty nine. Good God. Good God, man. Well, hopefully you and Thunder and Dracul, uh, hopefully you have found your final destination now in 1029. Stinky has been passed around. It sounds like it, doesn't it? Hopefully you all are happy here and you found your final destination, right? <laughs> 2080 to 1682 to 2469 to 2998. That is quite the history there as well. Some marches going somewhere. They gonna drop a fort here. Where are y'all going? They had a fort building right up here, I thought. Gone now. This is the final call. Hey, only farmer, good to see you. Well, 
let the account sleep for nine months? Wow. Yeah, we are still waiting for Only Farmer to follow through on her promise to Zero Bloody Madness. It could happen any day now, though. All she's got to do is migrate to 1093. So be sure and subscribe to her channel. In case that happens, you, you won't want to miss it. You just leaked the enemy plans, now they're teleporting? Well, it's not... It's, it's not like the, the guys in purple can't see these marches marching all in the same direction, right? I only have five passports. <laughs> you know, only farmer. Um, if the price is right, I've got 446 passports. If the price is right, and you pay me half up front and half after I do the job. Might, uh, we might we can have a discussion about zeroing bloody madness <laughs> yeah well uh, join 1093 zero bloody madness pop a 30-day shield and then teleport back home to 1029 right <laughs> but it would have to be a lucrative offer. Yeah, I don't have a 30-day bubble. I, there, there's an achievement out there, too, to pop a 30-day bubble, if I remember correctly. So, it's I mean, it's pretty obvious they're going to build a fort here now, right? So, let's, let's take a look at achievements. The one I have here um, uses 1,000 days worth of building speed-ups. Okay, so we'll get that eventually in KVK's building crystal mines and crystal uh, uh, crystal research centers or whatever they're called increase your total power to 200 million highest I was ever at is 192 claim an orange crystal chest alliance crystal chest a rainbow crystal chest well Pretty much got to join the Imperium Kingdom for those, so that's not going to happen anytime soon, if ever. Be part of an alliance that controls all of the sanctums in a province. Be part of an alliance that can, controls all the holy sites in the kingdom. In the kingdom. How, I mean, how do you do that? You know, one of our guys had it all planned out where... You know, every KVK, we would drop an alliance fort, or after every KVK, we would drop an alliance fort next to one of the different holy sites. You know, take the holy site, then destroy that uh, alliance fort, then build it elsewhere, and then take that holy site and then build it elsewhere. But that would require none of the other alliances in the entire kingdom to occupy any of the holy sites whatsoever. Here it is. Long vacation. Use one 30-day peace shield. That's five, five achievement points. Is it worth 30,000 gems for five achievement points? I don't think so. Trick or treat city theme. I still need to get that. Silent night city theme. I still need to get that. Unlock Charlemagne's expertise. Probably never. Wu Zetian, get Heavenly Glow to level 5. 
Unlock Wuzetian's expertise. Probably never. Fountain of Life Goddess. I don't know where I missed that one. Amber Bastet. I don't know where I missed that one. Quinks. I don't know where. I mean, there, there's some of these that uh, it's like, um, okay. But then some of these you, I just don't have or will never have, right? Bab permanent Babylonian Gardens. Heliopolis. Persian Dream you can get in the KVK shop, but I don't want to spend money on that. Divine Adobe I might get at some point in the KVK shop. Saints Halo, Lake Palace. I mean, there's there's a ton of these for those permanent uh, permanent Zenith skins that we'll just never get. You can only get the ring. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. By joining GT. Oh, it's not a fort, it's a flag. Um, what else do we got in here? That was Pioneer, Master and Commander. Again, these are these are all city themes that I'll I'll never have. And some decorative structures that I don't know where I missed out on those. Pass the Peerless Scholar Preliminary 20 times. Final pass the final exam one time. Final exam five times. I guess I gotta get on uh, get on Discord with some people to do those. So I'm never online for those. Is it 45k gems for a 30 day shield now? I thought it was 30k gems. And then this one is Bertrand. Bertrand, Margaret, Babur. And again, city themes. So many of the ones I'm missing are those city themes. These are all commanders, right? And and again, city themes. So we're we're fairly close to topped out on our achievement stuff. What's up, Electro King? to see you. for those of you who do not know electro king electro king does all my graphics for me intros outros overlays thumbnails emojis you name it he does it if you're looking for graphics of any kind whether it's for rise of kingdoms for your business whatever touch base with electro king you can find him on my discord Free profile picture, I have no shame. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Nope, free profile picture when we hit uh, 3,000 subscribers. Let's see where we're at. Well, dang it wrong YouTube page here. YouTube Studio. We were at we're at 2,992. So eight more subscribers. And then we will set up our 3,000 subscriber stream. We'll give away a couple of t-shirts and an Electro King profile picture. Hell I might just I might just uh, commission Electric King to do three or four profile pictures on that stream. Three profile picture at 100 likes. I doubt we're hitting that tonight. We're not going to do a long enough stream tonight for that. And we're only at 37 now, so y'all got to get to work. But yeah, once we hit 3,000, we'll set up a stream for one of the weekends. Kind of in the middle of the day in America so that the European folks can get on to. Be sure I'll be sure and tag you in Discord and let you know, St. Jolene. And uh, we'll have some fun. We'll have some good fun. Watch out, yeah, yeah. 
Eight more subscribers, correct. Eight. Just say no to feet pics. Just say no to feet pics. Gumbo here might have last minute betrayal in his KVK. Let's check that out. What is this? Uh, OFA seventy six. 76 OFA, so the yellow folks. I don't know who they're allied with. Gumbo is telling me here they cut off their allies' territory and put a garrison with a lot of troops surrounding the Zig. So, yeah, I don't know if you're watching, Gumbo. Who was supposed to get the zig at the end? Are these guys just paranoid that somebody's going to betray them? Are they Were they supposed to get the zig at the end of KBK? And they're just freaking paranoid that somebody was going to betray them? Did they burn their allied territory flags? Or did they... Ask that they be removed so they were not touching the zig anymore. There's a lot of fucking flags that are back built around this. Good lord. Either someone is super fucking paranoid. That, uh, it's over. Game over. There's a fucking Lohar here with T5 Sieges. Game over. Don't even try and take the zig from these guys. I, I'm, I'm so scared. I gotta look away. I gotta look away. All I ever wanted was you, but you Yellow stole the zig and is now protecting it. It's not paranoia. <laughs> Well, I mean, half of these KVKs now, you hear about betrayals. I mean, I would rather lose a KVK than be known as a kingdom that betrays our allies. The last thing I will ever do is make agreements and, and back out of those agreements. If, if somebody betrays us, well, you know, you've you've got uh, you you will uh, you will receive the spotlight on several YouTube videos and live streams for years and years to come if you betray 1029. 
that, that's all there is to it, right? I will, I will make you fucking famous. <laughs> I could, you know, honestly, I could care less about the star on our banner. I really could. To me, that's just cosmetic. And honestly, I think four stars looks better than a single fucking moon. Well, that that just looks stupid and silly. It's those Autric rewards. Everyone wants those. Everyone wants those inscriptions. Now that they're putting more um, blueprints in the KVK shop, now the, those everyone's gonna want those coins as well, right? Do you mean like how Omniarch betrayed me in a KVK two years ago and I still bring it up? Absolutely. You know, I mean, if you if you betrayed 1029 in a KVK, man, I, I will make your kingdom fucking famous. And believe me, if it takes one day, two days, ten days, one year, Five years, ten years, you'll get what's coming to you. Hey, what's going on, Ivor? Good to see you here. If you guys don't know Ivor Mania, he creates content as well, does live streams. Smaller YouTuber right now, but let's let's go over there, give him a subscription. Check him out when he's live. He's in a newer kingdom. Help him out. Help that man grow his channel. Let's get him up to 500, 1,000, 2,000 subs. Coins look easier now? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. What, what I want, what I need, is I need I need those freaking blue transmutation stones, right? Um, where are we here? You know, these, these damn things. Transmutation crystals. That's what I need. I mean, we got there. They had an event where you got one. Right. But after that, I haven't seen them anywhere. They might be in some of the newer KVKs, but yeah. That, that's what I need because I have several <clears throat> armaments, right? I mean, you got I got this one that I've done it ten, 10 times. I've got this one that I've done 10 times. Um, who else? I think Boudicca's, Boudicca's good. Nope. Got this one that I've done ten times, right? So I mean, those I, I that's that's the resource that seems to be the scarcest to me. You get two free per KVK now. Okay. All right. So we're gonna have to start popping into KVKs again and again and again and again, which is what we want to do. You know, we want to do a KVK, then skip a KVK. Then do a KVK, then skip a KVK. And when I say skip, I, I'm not talking skip a KVK as in go into a KVK and do a recovery KVK. I'm talking about, you know, when they offer a KVK, skip one and go into the very next offer. You know, I'm, I'm not a... I'm not a fan of a recovery KVK. I just, 
We, we tried that once in the past. Doing a recovery KVK and we're going to take it easy. We're going to let somebody else run the show. Then once fighting breaks out, it seems like everybody's there. Everybody's swarming flags. Everybody's, you know, do, doing the same old shit. What's up, Witcher? Yeah, one pop and then go in. One pop and then go in. That's the consistent pattern I want to get into. Yeah, I mean that exactly, Joey. And that's how that's how I have fun. Is this for me? I'm I'm not a patient person. Uh, it's hard for me to sit there and watch a rally run for an hour, for an hour and a half, for two hours. We're watching rallies and counter rallies and counter rallies to the counter rallies and counter rallies to the counter rally of the counter rallies. That that's fucking boring for me. I'd rather just swarm it and get it done with. You know, so I mean, we've gone into KVKs before where we've. Okay, we're gonna chill this KVK. We're we're not gonna go hard. You know, we're not gonna swarm everything. Let's just rally. Whatever happens, happens. Let's just defend. Whatever happens, happens. But as much as we say that, that never works out. Recovery KVK is called the off season, <laughs> right? Yeah, screw the strategy. I mean, you you can have the absolute best strategy in the world. And 10 minutes into a pass opening, it all goes to shit. <laughs> you know? Yeah, there, oh, there are dumb swarms, though. Yes, I've, I've done them. I've participated in them. I've killed many troops in them. But I still have fun doing it. You know, and at the end of the day, right, it's a game. Is that a Minamoto I saw in the fort? Are they touching the fort now? They're not. How did I see a Mina in there? Don't swarm with Trajan. <laughs> yeah. I don't even use Trajan on the field anymore. Trajan's canyon only. Yeah, I see. Yeah. How... <coughs> uh, breaking news, right? Let's find the button here. Breaking news. Minamoto is not a good garrison captain. Fifteen thirty four? Yeah, fifteen thirty four. Season four, Realm of Anubis Champions. Hey. What's up, Gumbo? We did bookmark your KVK here. So give us the backstory, if you don't mind. Were these guys not supposed to get the zig at the end? And they burned allied flags touching it? Or are they supposed to get the zig at the end and they're just paranoid as all fuck? Oh, 
Oh, is that where Hong Kong Legends went? I, that, that, that was the funnest arc match I have ever played in in my life is, is OV versus HKL in season three. I mean, to win that right at the end by farming and just watching the reactions of every single streamer that was streaming that, that picked HKL to win. Yeah, that, 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 that was probably the most fun. I mean, that was more fun than, than winning the grand finals. I believe they were getting the zig. I think they were paranoid. One of their allies has a history of betraying. So yeah, I can understand that then. I mean, and in our in our KVK to avoid any any sort of paranoia from our allies, once it was determined that they were getting the zig at the end, as soon as we turned it over to them, I deleted all our territory touching it. I said I, I don't want to put that thought into anyone's mind in the camp in the coalition. In in my kingdom, I don't want to put that thought into anyone's mind, and I'm just going to delete all the territory that we have that's touching the zig, so that you guys can go to bed at night, so that I can go to bed at night knowing that nothing stupid is going to happen. So I I totally get it. If you're if you've made the deal to get the zig at the end, to ask your ally or your allied camps, okay. The Zig is ours now. Do you mind deleting your territory that's touching it? And I would be paranoid if they came back and said, no, we're not going to delete our territory touching the Zig. That would that would then get me thinking, right? You know, what the hell's going on? Why? Is earlier I saw that they were positioned they had troops all over this area blocking every single teleport spot maybe they asked their allies to delete these flags they thought they were too close to the zig but yeah this this looks like crazy fucking paranoia I mean flag 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 I mean we got Flags layered four or five deep down here on, uh, near where they're touching uh, touching their allied camps, right? Flag, 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 flag. So I don't know, man. That's just crazy. What? I mean... You know, you burn an ally's flag, that gives them an excuse then. Oh, you burned our fucking flag. All bets are off now. You're you're burning our flags. That just gives them an excuse to... All right, all bets are off. We're taking the zig now, motherfuckers. Yeah, that is a bit far away. I would agree there, Thunder. Way down here. So why why aren't they burning this one? Why aren't they burning this one? Is this is this the betrayal kingdom here that uh, GV ninety four Glory of Valhalla? I don't know. I don't know. Unauthorized migrants will be zeroed. I feel like we started that. I was, I, this was the first kingdom, ours was the first kingdom I ever saw that had, if you migrate here without permission, you will be zeroed. I feel like we started that shit. Because, yeah, I mean, if... If I, if I woke up and my flags were being burned by an ally, I'd be like, what the fuck, guys? God only knows. God only knows. 
we'll keep our eye on it the next day or so just to see what happens. But if there's only eight hours left on the zig, then it's it's probably over after this, right? <clears throat> now there was a time when when Smash Squad players went crazy as soon as the KVK was over, and they started zeroing allied players cities who were off territory so the kvk is over i know chisgall didn't agree with that and he but at the same time you know so i mean uh, that's why as soon as i i port back to home kingdom as soon as i possibly can after the kvk is officially over just to avoid anything like that Yeah, it used to say the kingdom is closed. Uh, if you migrate here without permission, you'll be zeroed. It does not say that anymore because we are not closed, closed. We are still recruiting a bit. Ooh, can I see Autric distribution? Show me. Nope, I don't think it does, does it? What's up, Nugget? Drama gets you zero, boo. <laughs> hey, that's why I'm not in an Imperium Kingdom anymore, because I got sick of the drama and the bullshit. I'm too old for that crap. You might enjoy that at your young age, but no, uh-uh, no thank you. I'm too old for that. Please do my golden kingdom. <laughs> oh, I can't pass those out yet. Let's see. Let's see who's applied. Ah, uh, we'll pass on you. Thank you. No offense if you're watching, but uh, yeah. Yeah, stay in the kingdoms you're in, grow your account a little bit more, come talk to me in a, in a year or two. I guarantee you, you're younger than me, Nugget. Gold pit finished. This is like the third fucking gold pit we've had today. Which, I mean, I guess it works for me. I had uh, the kingdom tax running for eight hours, but. Yeah, let me just get, uh, let me just get in the gold pit here with my farm account and we will, uh, we can take a look.
All right, as far as our kingdom, right? One alliance kingdom. We've got several farm alliances. These guys are indeed outsiders. Uh, they have no territory on the map. Every time, every time we run across their city, we just zero it. Um, so 6.793 billion power. Alliance kills are at 157 billion. Individual power. Individual kills. Cat's in the cloud. Crimzix is in the cloud. Mozusa is in the cloud. Bulgogi's in the cloud. Plague's in the cloud. Kalo. So these players without <clears throat> alliances listed, they're all in the cloud at this point in time. All right, Terra Squad, have a good night. Um, Coco Boy is brand new to the kingdom, like two weeks old in this kingdom. Sir Wolfie has been with us for only one KVK. Smart Alpha for two or three KVKs. Uh, Trash Panda, Jolene, you might recognize this guy. Nugget as well. Um, he This last KVK was his first KVK with us. Echo just migrated here from another kingdom during KVK, cross 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 kingdom migration or whatever they call it. Sweetie, Thunder, Noobzilla. I mean a lot of these players have only been with us for one KVK. So we have got some really good quality people in here and I'm loving it. I'm loving every minute of it. reset the game no sir this has been my account from day one every kill point every dead troop every resource gathered has been my own doing no pilots have ever played on this account there are two people that have access to the account but that is you know worst case scenario we're in the middle of KVK I get hit by a bus. My wife sends him a text message telling him I'm dead. <laughs> and they have to move my account out of, out of, back to the home kingdom so they can zero it and get my resources, right? <laughs> but nope, this was uh, all, all my doing, all my making. like subscriptions are renewing all right so let's let's be stupid right let's take the stupid pill we've already done 124 spins we're just gonna max this out right we're fully invested now I'll pilot for you what's the worst that could happen I could wake up and my account will be in another kingdom Pan is a good guy. Oh, we're getting absolutely screwed with this. Oh my god. Well, at least we got a few, but keep giving me the gold universals. No eight spots. Okay, yes, that was stupid, that was insane, that was crazy, but hey. Chaser of Waves. I don't recall seeing that one. Oh, 
Set you KVK screenshots. Nice. Nice, and this was your recovery KVK. Yeah, I mean, you know, get get your get your ten best fighters together from that kingdom gumbo and uh, come on over to ten twenty nine. We could we could do some real damage. Just something to think about. Something to think about, my friend. All right, so where does that leave us now? With uh, this guy looks French to me. He doesn't look Spanish. Five five one two. <laughs> but one thousand twenty six universals. Bring on the next cavalry commanders. Let's do it. Fast as they're pumping commanders out these days. We got more than 10 fighters. Well, you know, let's talk. Let's talk. We can talk. Appreciate that, Anton. <clears throat> you know, we want to stay CC'd, so, you know. We, we can figure something out. Shoot, I forgot to recycle that other one, didn't I? Damn it. Appreciate that pirate code. I'm not a whale. I'm not a whale. <laughs> I'm not a whale. I'm told a real whale would play in an Imperium Kingdom. been there I've done that not for me not for me I've experienced that fun that drama no I do not want to move to an Imperium Kingdom Playing in 1039, playing in 1052, that, that was that was enough for me. Ten thirty-nine was the good old boys club. If if you were not part of the good old boys club, you didn't get shit. Ten fifty two, if you were not a rally lead or a garrison captain in Ark of Osiris, you didn't get shit. You had to claw and scratch and accumulate and unlock commanders, two commanders here, three commanders there. Uh -uh, no thank you. No thank you. Quite enjoy being a big fish in a small pond. 
playing with a smaller group of players who I know have my back. You know, if I if I charge head on into a murder ball, I know there are going to be people following me. Previous kingdoms I played in, if I charged head on into a murder ball, nobody would follow me. No, you're not fighting on our own territory. You get better trades if you fight on our own territory. Fuck the trades. I could give two shits about my reports. Let's just have fun, people. We outnumber them three to one. Why are we pussyfooting and going back and forth to stay on our own territory and fight? It makes no fucking sense to me. Why am I being told, take your troops out of the flag so you don't get dead troops? No. Homie, don't play that way. Yeah, if we can, if we can, if we can set up a KVK where uh, we're allies, that would be fantastic. What's up, King? Oh, pineapple pizza. <laughs> I wonder who made that emoji. All right, what are your predictions here? Yesterday, I think I got four. The day before, I got one. The day before that, I got five. <clears throat> I'm due to get a nice, you know, seven, eight, or nine in, in one of these. I'm guessing six. What do you all think? Three. <laughs> three. Car, I wish you would have said 13. Zero. <laughs> you always get at least one. <clears throat> Next time I ask car, the answer should be different. Yeah, you know? like nine, ten. You know, you must be a Lilith developer in the background hacking my account to give me three. get uh, another transmutation stone yet? Yes, we can. Got those. Let's at least get our five barbarians done. Suleiman even at? I think he's like one of some crazy shit. One five two two. Not that I'll ever use him, but those daily chests are nice for the AP pots as well. <clears throat> 
Uh, you are correct. I do have several farms. I've got four farms on this account. Three of them are active. One of them I'm letting go to the cloud. And then I have got uh, six other farms on two other separate accounts. But these here, these five here, I'm letting them go to the cloud. Um, my other farms that I'm keeping active on the other two accounts are uh, R5s and two of the farm alliances, so I have to keep logging into them. So on, on this account, right, we've got uh, obviously R5 in the main alliance, farm in the main alliance, then R4 in our biggest farm, R4 in our second biggest farm, and then I have the two other accounts that are R5s and, and two of the smaller, smaller, smaller farms. Hey, Riley. Yeah, I, you know, I've got plenty of resources, right? So I don't need to constantly be running 10 farms which is why I'm letting five of them go to the cloud. The two smaller ones, um, here I can show you the two smaller ones, right? Where's PKG? So like this is only 19 million. That one's going to remain active because it's got to. It's our five of, of that sub alliance there. And then PKG. Um, that one's only 21 million, and I got to keep that active so that we still have our five there. <clears throat> um, but other than that, the, the other four accounts, well, like this one's 30 million. Going to the cloud, 32 million going to the cloud, another 30, another 33, another 41 going to the cloud. So that's, I mean, that's what, 40, 70, 100, 160 million power going to the cloud here in, in the next week or so. But uh, yeah, I mean, these I do bring to KVK to fill flags and fill forts. The problem there is, and fill rallies, the problem there is, you know, the aggressive style of gameplay that we have, we're not sitting there defending a flag for hours and hours or rallying a fort for hours and hours. So they, they don't drop a whole ton of power in KVK. <clears throat> You know, I, I often joke that we could garrison flags and forts with City Keeper Lancelot because we fucking we swarm every rally that comes at him anyway. You know, so even, even if I'm stuffing a flag with five marches from my farms, generally if a flag's getting attacked, there's somebody there to rally it. The last two KVKs we've been in, um, well, this last KVK we lost two flags total the kvk before that until until our allies went to sleep and our allied camp was pushed out of kingsland until that happened we had only lost one flag in that kvk uh, once two of the kingdoms in our own camp went to bed and our allied camp was pushed out of kingsland and, and it was literally 10 kingdoms versus three <clears throat> um, we had only lost the one flag, so you know, we generally swarm everything. That's how we have fun. Don't hit thunder in can Well, since you said that, thunder. Look, it's not even bringing up your name here. There we go. Look at that. We don't even have to rearrange our marches.
but we will hit PT Secret once also. So we got a weird rule in this kingdom, right? You, you can only hit a person one time per day in Sunset Canyon. Let's, let's see if we can snipe Smart Alpha. Uh, what do we do here? We do Trajan and Alex. And then we do Guan and ZL. And we do Luchi up top. Let's just play this one out. Smart Alpha is a beast. Smart Alpha and um, Trash Panda are the two guys that can generally beat me in Canyon. And Smart Alpha, I, I have a 50-50 chance to beat him. Because his equipment is, is crazy. If my ZL can just stay alive. Stay alive, stay alive, archers, stay alive. Don't die. Oh, good God, I got the 15 poison stack on both those marches. Oh, praise Jesus. Now that Nevsky's about dead. I mean, he, he'll, 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 he'll hit me and get most of those points back. So I generally don't attack him if he doesn't attack me. <laughs> Any new events today? What is, oh, the, all the spring stuff starts tomorrow. Fabulous. More things to spend gems on, right? Hey, if you've got a ton of gems going into KVK, you're doing something wrong. All right, so what we got? We got farmers to send out. There's food. Here is the secret to winning Canyon every day. What is that? Where's Trash Panda? He's the other one I generally have trouble with. There are eight negative titles. One for Mad Mania and one for everyone else that tries to hit you. <laughs> so same, same lineup here. That equipment on Guan I have is absolute dog shit.
Go on, die. Go on, die. I think he's got me this time. Oh, maybe not. Same deal. Yeah, I mean, the only reason I care about infantry is for garrison. <coughs> I mean, that's that's the equipment I have on Guan. Absolutely nothing special. Luchi, this is also Gorgo equipment for garrison, so. And this, again, this is not, you know, it's not even the KVK helmet and the KVK weapon. Um, it's not meta, because I, if I was running meta, it would be right. KVK helmet, KVK weapon. Oh, uh, what, set piece gloves and set piece pants. is very stacked on defense so there, there are others with better stuff and then my, my third infantry set you don't even want to see that the third cavalry set we did some work on armaments here today though it's not bad Right? I generally don't use three cavalry, except in Ark of Osiris. We've got some work to do on our third archer armaments. Which I really should do, because I've run three archers in the field. We, we got purple on here, and none of these are iconic. So yeah, it's dog shit. Archers, yeah, nothing to laugh at here. Cavalry, my first cavalry set, top notch, except for the accessories. Uh, second cavalry set, we're... Yeah, I need to crit these. So, I mean, it's not quite where I want it to be, but... Your title should say, I'm a whale, not insane. I love my archers, boy. I love my archers. I mean, I've got the KVK helmet and weapon, but it's not worth it to put it on my primary march until it's a crit. <clears throat> and then armaments. It's hard to beat that. Even, even my second Archer Armament set, right? But again, I need those damn stones to transmutate this again. So yeah, I love my Archers. I love my Archers. Yeah, generally I do the Three archer, one infantry, one cavalry. Then when I go to six marches, it's three archers, one infantry, two cavalry. And then when I go to seven marches, it's it's three two two or three one three or. <clears throat> that, I mean, last KVK I ran out of archers though, so I had to run three infantry in the field. <clears throat> those were the only troops I had so so Zenith of Power I went I went crazy training archer troops so that doesn't happen again <clears throat> I 
Uh, for archers, <clears throat> for archers, I think the perfect set is going to be the uh, helmet and the weapon from KVK once they're crit. And then these two set pieces here, the chest and the gloves. And then um, these, these leadership pants, which are health, and boots, which are also health. That's, that's where I want to get to with this set anyway. Yeah, you're losing... Um, uh, you're losing 3% skill damage and you're losing 5% health when you have the six pieces, but you know, you're making up that health right here in, in the 10.5% and the 8%. So, and this, this health is, you know, this, these pants are attack and these boots are defense. So, 2-2-2 two, two, two is where I want to be with that set. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not moving. <clears throat> I'm not moving either of these over until I, I crit them. This one's at 50%, so we'll keep working on that one. And if we can just get, um, if we can get a couple of those blueprints in the next few KVKs, that shouldn't be a big deal. But then you gotta level those fuckers up too, so that means more blueprints, right? It is what it is. Uh, as long as I'm having fun, I'm going to keep playing the game. As soon as the game is no fun, I mean, you have days, right, where it's it's not fun or it's a drag or it's um, frustrating. But overall, I'm still having fun. As long as I'm still having fun, I'm going to keep playing this game. You know, once it's no longer fun, then we'll find something else to play. But I think uh, I think that's where we're going to end it for the night. Um, let me just see if anyone else is streaming out there. Is Apo still streaming? He is. My goodness. The Marathon Man. Uh, we're going to get you over to Apocalypse Gaming. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in tonight. Uh, appreciate your conversation, your humor, your views, your chats, your pull clicking yada 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 i love you all <laughs> we'll catch you next time have a great night day morning whatever it is wherever you are see you again